My Pepsi tastes like And Pepsi, 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 Coca-Cola. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be fantastic for BRTV TV to have a show like this. It's so different from any, any other show that um, BRTV TV has done. And, you know, being on also part of Davenport Diaries and this is going to be so different to work with such a different cast and such a different script and my character is completely the opposite of what Chloe is so I'm so excited for it. One thing I like about Craig is that he's open and honest about who he is and so like in my life I'm definitely open and honest about who I am um, and the things that I like to do. Um, now Craig's idea of some of the things that he might like to do is a little bit different from um, how I would do things, um, but I still can relate to the fact that he's open and he's honest about who he is, what he likes, what he wants, uh, and who he's going to be. So, I definitely can relate to that. I feel like I am like Darian, especially, first of all, I go to Penn State. Second of all, I deal with all those color struggles. That's my daily life. And she's really like, you know, like laid back and just like funny and good person to hang around with. And I, I you know, like... It's just good company. I feel like I am like Darian. I think we're going to have so much fun with the character. Um, it's far from myself, in a sense. So I'm like really excited to push the boundaries um, and show like positivity. This project is going to be a lot of fun, not only for us, but for you guys as well. It's going to be something that I know we all want it, and we all want that relatability factor and that's exactly what we're going to give to you all and i'm excited i know you are going to be excited as kirk likes to say get excited you see it you know, i see it I do see you hear it. me i love it are you listening <laughs> i feel like isaac is me every day all day um fashion icon big girl loves to eat um <laughs> that's me and one thing about isaac that i do like is that he loves himself and he doesn't give a care if you don't like it, if you don't like it, I don't care, he doesn't care. You're gonna live for it and you're Thank gonna you. channel it and that's gonna be it. You have no other choice. So. A Delmonico steak served medium well. A little bit of pink, just a little bit. Just, little a, bit. just enough to keep it a little bit wet in the middle. No that's it. Guys. All right. That's it. Fries, no doubt. I eat fries about Honestly, I eat fries every day. If I go at least two days without fries, I go through withdrawal. I need fries, especially Chick-fil-A fries. They're, Sundays are terrible, so, you know, I need them in my life. Dipping them in Frosty, that's good, too. They are, it if is. it's Chick-fil-A with buffalo sauce or Wendy's with a Frosty. Um, chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo? Yes, yeah, so good. What about I love it? it. Creamy chicken, a little bit of parsley. It's just so good. You kind of, it's all about the seasonings. <laughs> it's hard for me to come up with a favorite food, but I will say my favorite meal will probably have to be spaghetti. That's like one of those things that you cannot get wrong. Like if you mess up spaghetti, then you just, and we're not going to get started on this debate, but you better not put no damn sugar in my spaghetti neither. And that's it. Mm. Now that's a hard question. Um, see, I mean, uh, it's so hard to pick one food, you know, but I'm going to have to go with salmon. Salmon is my favorite food. It doesn't matter how I have it, if it's over rice, over mashed potatoes, by itself, fried, broiled, flambe, on the grill, on a school. You name it! Swimming in the sea. Bitch, salmon is just for me. I had just done a modeling team at Norfolk State, and um, this is what I use for our platforms. And I had just done a modeling team, and I was walking to the cab, and the platform was like I walked over a hill, and I fell, and I sprained my ankle. <laughs> so, my ankle was sprained for like a whole week. <laughs> I would probably have to say that the funniest memory in my life, and this is terrible to say, but it was probably when my mother was drunk. I, I was up to 2 a.m. I was supposed to be in bed, and my mother was sliding down the basement, the, the basement steps. So I was absolutely like elated, and this was hilarity to me. So this is funny now, but it was really scary when it happened. I don't know if I don't even know if I should say it, but I'm gonna say it. Yes, 
I was at a friend's house and my I went I wanted to go home and I ordered you know I, I got my Uber or whatever I go outside the Uber is not there I try to find it for a while my phone dies and then I have to walk home and it's pretty far it's a pretty far walk and it's 2 a.m. very sketchy there's clowns all over Penn State so here I am thinking I'm gonna die it feels like it took me about three hours to get home Maybe because I was high. I was freaking out. I was running. I was hyperventilating. I was looking back like, oh my god, somebody's following me. But at the time, it was really scary. But now that I think about it, I'm like, I just had to walk home. Like, it wasn't really that bad. But I was, it felt like it was straight out of a scary movie. It was horrible. <laughs> it was definitely it was, the weed. It was the weed. <laughs> so, it was this girl who was, um... At, at Bowie State, I went to Bowie State. She was on the phone. Don't you know, like, when the period breaks out, like, everybody's, like, leaving out of class? So she had a whole handful of books, right? And she was on her phone walking down the steps. It's this building called the MLK. She was at the top of the steps, okay? Books, everything, on the phone, talking and everything. So this lady trips and falls. Mind you, she never got off the phone. <laughs> I'm talking about she's falling down the steps giving girl you will not believe it girl I am falling down the steps girl oh bitch I just fell down the steps girl I was like that lady just fell down all those steps and still stay on that phone call girl you will not believe it girl I am falling down the steps girl oh it was the most hilarious thing I ever seen in my life I literally like <laughs> fell out honey I had to go talk to her I'm a musical fanatic, so I absolutely love Grease. Summer loving had me a blast. Um, so, <laughs> but yeah, Grease, I love it. So listen, I don't like have a favorite movie. I'm really bad when it comes to like picking, like I'm very indecisive. However, my favorite childhood movie was The Lion King. I don't think anybody could top The Lion King as a child for me. Like, it was no, when Simba was down there on the ground and, and the father was getting, the scar was tearing it up in there. It was a lot for me as a child. I really loved that movie. My favorite movie will be Mean Girls. <laughs> Everything about it is iconic. Regina George, top girl, overall icon. Why not love it? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. For a favorite movie, I would probably have to say The Craft. What I like about it is, is because I've taken a lot of time to delve into different religions. Hail to the guardians of the watchtowers of the moon. And uh, witchcraft is a religion, you know, to people. And I feel like that movie gave the most, a hundred percent or the most, uh, tantamount to reality of what witchcraft actually may be. By the powers of mother and earth. And, and I appreciate that because many people don't, don't like to take witchcraft and turn it into something that's really reality. I invoke thee, Mena. They make it powers, they make it this, they make it telepathy, they make it whatever, they make it supernatural, and that's not always what it, what it is. It's simply about energies, so that's that's probably my favorite movie. Clueless, I love Clueless. You know, um, Cher is my favorite character. <laughs> it was like a few years before I was born, but then I saw it on Netflix, and uh, I fell in love with it. You know, like having just both characters be like, oh, as if. Give me your best as if, just like just okay, like Cher okay. was saying. Okay, you have to have your hair up like this, and then, because, you know, it has to be a hair flip, so it has to be like, uh, as if. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. I do not drink light liquor. I only drink brown liquor, so what I'm going to hit you off with is a Hennessy, or Jameson, or Jack, or Jim Beam. Those are my top four. If somebody comes to me in the club asks me for a cocktail, it's, I'm giving a Jack and Coke. I'm not going to hit you over the head with Henny because I don't want you to think I'm that type of girl. But I'm going to get Henny for myself normally. Get excited about that. When Trey come over and he was like, can I buy you a drink? Like, what do you say? Um, if I can get some water. That doesn't happen to me, but 
Um, I don't drink, but I'll ask like water or something like a spread or something, but I don't have a favorite drink of choice. Okay, fair respect. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. We'll get you. No drinking. We'll get you. Vodka, light liquor, or tequila. Tequila is good, but you know, if you go to the bar, you get free drinks. I'm just like, oh, anything, anything goes, except for Hennessy. If I get Hennessy, I'll just be like, I'll just, I'll just say thanks and give it to my friend or something. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like I definitely need to be with you at the bar if you're just giving away your Hennessy. Yeah. Jesus you Christ. have these three options. You must fuck one. Marry one and kill the other. Barack Hussein Obama, Kanye West, and Donald J. Trump. Fuck, marry, kill. Um, I would date Kanye West. I would um, marry Barack Obama, of course. Off the head with Trump. Wait, did you say date Kanye West? Yes. So you don't curse either? Oh, you want me to say fuck? Okay. <laughs> so um, feels, they stay with those natural. I feel like dating is more... I would date Kanye West. I would um, marry Barack Obama. And off with the head with Trump. He has to go. Off with his head. Off. Bye, girl. Chance the Rapper. Chris Breezy. And T.I. Kill Chris Brown. I would fuck Chance the Rapper. And I will marry T.I. That was that you, like you already were ready for that. I mean, clearly. I mean, yeah, Chris Brown, he talks too fucking much. He just needs to shut the fuck up sometimes. Chance, I mean, he's cute, but he's still too young. He's just the fuck. And T.I. is the one that got the business and the money and the coins. Granted, his ass goes to jail too often, but still, he's away. I can play. J. Cole, Drake, and The Weeknd. I will kill J. Cole. Kill Jaco just because I cannot deal with that head right now. Like I can, I cannot. Um, Mary Drake, hands down, hands down. Drake is getting married, hands down. Right. So um, for you fucking, fuck. I guess it would be the weekend. Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham. And Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. I'm going to kill. Jaden, oh. I'm going to fuck Odell Beckham, and only because I could not marry him because everybody would be trying to fuck my man. And then I would marry Michael B. Jordan because I really feel like he's like really up and coming. He's about to get some Oscars, baby. He's eating it. But I always say Michael B. Jordan is like one of the top on my celebrity list. It's like Michael B. Jordan, and then it's like Little Romeo. Oh, and it's no shit. It didn't, the room fill it. Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. Hugh Jackman, and Johnny Depp. Okay. Well, Hugh Jackman is a little bit, you know, on the older side, so I'm gonna kill him. Sorry. I guess I'll fuck Johnny Depp just because, I don't know, he just got out of a relationship. Leonardo DiCaprio has been like, was like my childhood crush and whatever, so I guess, yeah, I'll marry him. He's cute. <laughs> One of my aspirations is to be a lighthouse for the um, plus size. Um, I feel like that um, that is not talked about at all. Yeah, that's one of my aspirations. Yeah, he's a lighthouse. Absolutely. Be a lighthouse. He is a lighthouse. <laughs> Hashtag lighthouse. Hashtag lighthouse. Hashtag lighthouse. Hashtag in the room. B O T V T V. Hashtag lighthouse. You have now had your interview with Dana Turner Jr. Please do your best to tune in February 2017 as I am delivering to you. Gabriel. The Uglies will be coming to YouTube on February 2017 on BRTV TV. That's good. I'm done. You're done. Thank you so much. It's been great. And I really want to say, we can't wait to see you on Ballroom Throwbacks TV. We're really going to make it hot. We're really going to take it up. And we're going to show you a side that you've never seen before. So tune in. Relax, relate, and we're going to help you release.